Hi guys, welcome to the Duck Pond. Today we are checking out an indie game called Little Mouse's Encyclopedia. And it is gonna be a really cute little indie game. Look at this, look how cute this is. So we'll start from the beginning. So around the burrow. Don't know what this is about, but it's gonna be good. It's so cute so far. Look at this. Look at the little feet. Oh my God, this is the cutest thing in the world. Okay. They're walking duck. Oh, over here, okay. Oh, do I drag this? Yeah! <gasps> How to control the game. Discover by dragging the big magnifying glass. The animal or plant will come to life when you click on it. The small magnifying glass will help glasses help you. Reopen the tables. Move around using the arrows and clicking on the screen. Close the table by clicking on it. Oh my god, what is this? Ooh! Ghost places! What's over here? Nothing yet? Yeah, this is so cute! Okay. What is this? <gasps> a white grub. The white grub is a larva of a cock chafer? Is this a cockroach? It will evolve into a cock chafer in four years. Ew. Ew. It bites off the root, rootlets of plants? The larvae spends a ground under the, the larvae spends a winter under the ground. Oh, this is so good. This is so gross. Ew, what is this? <gasps> Earthworm, okay. Ooh, oral activity segment. I'm gonna say these all wrong. I'm not gonna say these. The earthworm is afraid of this is cute. Look at all these things. Hooks, uh, birds, big birds, little birds. It feeds on soil, plant remains, and dead insects. It pulls the leaves into the soil and it grubs the soil. It increases soil fertility. Oh my god, guys, look at all this stuff. Look at all of this! Oh my god, this is cute. Okay, let's see what this is. Common shrew. It eats as much as it weighs every day. Wait, it eats as much as it weighs every day? So this is the, the skull. These are little tracks which look like my cursor. It habits forest parks, fields, and meadows. Young shrew often form a trail behind the mother. Oh my God, that's cute. They like, they, they attach tails. That's cute. Wait, what, what is this? What did I just do? <laughs> oh my God, look at it, it goes all the, ew. <laughs> this is so far really gross. Ew, what is this? A mole cricket? I don't like, I don't like bugs. Function of fleeing, it digs with strong front legs. So it's, it digs with strong front legs. The European mole cricket can fly and swim. Well, that's terrifying. The male lures the females by loudly rubbing its wings together. The female likes to bite through roots and plants. Ooh, this is so gross, guys. Like, what, ooh. Common burying beetle. Well, flying, it is searching for the smell of corpse. Ew! The burying beetle bruises the corpse, or buries the corpse into the ground. The bug will form the burying into a, a ball of food. Ew. This is so gross. Philandra noct noctive moth? Black wings, white spot. So it... Ooh. One auto adult moth. Moth lays eggs. Caterpillars hatch from the egg and the caterpillar... Um, fit. Fit. <laughs> The caterpillar eats a leaf. The leaf slowly vanishes. Nothing will remain. <gasps> We're going up. Okay, let's not go up yet. Even though this is all really gross down here, I don't want to go up. Ew! Okay, here's a mole. The little digging claws, like, the, like a little paw right here. 
They got little mole hills and then tunnels under the ground and then the nest. So these all look like they're mole hills. Is this its food? Oh my god, they got a pantry! It paralyzes the earthworms by biting into their nerves. Ooh, their nerve center. It saves them from a rainy day. Oh. So they got plenty of little teeth. Smell is the main form of sense for a mole, and the mole is an insect eater. Let's go up. Oh my god, there's things over here. There's a tadpole. Frog larva, tadpole. This is really cool. Okay, let's one of these. Caddisfly? Caddisfly larva and adult caddisfly. A caris, carapace is a soft body. The carapace made from various materials. Okay, so they like they like being in the water. This is I'm really sorry, guys, if I'm like mispronouncing everything. Smooth newt. The male grows a small ridge in the period of reproduction. I didn't know this. It lives in a deciduous forest or in meadows, buried under the ground. It seeks the water for reproduction. Interesting. Huh. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, little mouse. What is this? Oh, we already looked at that. Okay. That was gross. Let's go this way. Did we go anywhere this way earlier? Oh, this is the way out. What are these? They look like peanuts. Observation of earthworms. You will... Oh! Yo! This is really cool! You can put them in a jar and it tells you how to do it. That's really, really cool. That's really, really neat. My nephew would love this game. Ew, what are all these things? Ooh, is this a little centipede? They curl up in danger. It lives under fallen leaves and under stones. It feeds on plant remains. Interesting. A rose chafer? These are good flyers. They feed on pollen, nectar, and ripe fruit. The larvae feed on de decomposed leaves and dead plant root rootlets. You can also find them in compost. Ew. Most likely find them in compost. Oh, look at he walks. Oh, this is so pretty, guys. Cabbage butterfly. The wing is covered with scales. I didn't know this. Egg, caterpillar, pupa, pupa. And the butterfly sucks nectar from bloom. Huh. Can I do the these? Oh! Common yarrow, which is really good for like like health reasons too. Hey, it's a medicinal herb. Yarrow tea has medicinal effects. Supposed to be really good. It grows on field boundaries, meadows, in ruins, along roads, and on forest edges. It's slightly bitter. What's this one? Carthian pink. Dark flowers. The flowers bloom and the flowers burst into blooms gradually. They, there are five petals on them. Leaves are arranged in pairs growing opposite of each other. Huh. It grows on dry meadows and field boundaries. The capsule contains a small seed. Oh my god, this is so cute, guys. Broadleaf thyme. The broadleaf thyme has a strong, aromic scent. It grows mostly on dry, grassy slopes. So this thyme is used... The tea is used to cure coughs, close up of the flower, and then drying of the leaves, the thyme leaves. This looks like a thistle to me. Pickle purple flowers. Brown knapweed? It grows in meadows, pastures, field boundaries, and along other roads. Ooh. There's a lot of things in there. Ribwort plantain. This plantain syrup is a um, remedy for coughs. This looks like an indigenous game. It's a, it feels like an indigenous game to me. It grows on grassy spots, meadows, and pastures along roads. A little cricket? Oh my god, look at those other things too. Those little bugs. Other bugs. 
Great green bush cricket. It feeds on plants and small animals. The female lays eggs in the ground and the green color masks her well. Interesting. I didn't know that's where they, they actually, like... I didn't know crickets laid their eggs in the ground. I didn't know that. I've seen these in person. Carabao. It is a protected plant. It grows on pastures, meadows, field boundaries, slopes, and forest edges. So look everywhere. What's this one? Oxide Daisy. He loves me, he loves me not. Did you guys ever play that? He loves me, he loves me not with daisies? daisies? It grows on meadows, hillsides, pastures, along roads, and lake forest. This is the cutest game ever, guys. Oh, there's some, oh, look at, there's one of these, these, these. The eyes are located of the length of its head, wait. The eyes are located in the middle of the length of its head, interesting. So these are the eyes. The water measures feel like something hits the water surface. It impales the insect with a, with a sting and then sucks it out. Huh. This is all so weird. Uh, damselfly. It lives, it lives near standing water. It flies from May to September. The female lays eggs on stock nymph. No, lays eggs on the stock. This is the nymph, older nymph, and then the larva skins, and then, and then an adult damselfly. A little bit this way. Is this a fly? Housefly. Ooh. This is gross. We don't need to look at this. I don't like houseflies. <laughs> what are these? Buttercups? Marsh marigold. I thought they were buttercups. It grows near streams, ponds, and requires a lot of water, and it is slightly poisonous. I did not know that. Can I walk over here? No. Because we already saw all this stuff. Can I go this way? Or is this it for this section, maybe? Oh, no, there's more over here. No, we got that one. What's this? It looks like a weed. White nettle. This apparently is really good for uh, nutritional... Uh, um, Medicinal purposes. The flower boosts into bloom from the bottom up. It grows along fences, in ruins, along roads and streams. The stem is hollow. Huh. That's kind of cool. This looks like a dandelion. Yeah. Dandelion roots are beautiful. Medicinal herb, hollow stem, long root. It exudes a white, bitter sap. Ooh. It grows on grassy spots, meadows, and along roads. The seeds are just dispersed by the wind. Oh, these are little cloves, it looks like. Yeah, white clover. White or greenish flowers? The leaves, flowers, as well as stems are tasty. Have you ever had um, clover in salads? They're really good. It grows in meadows, follow lands, and in ditches. So it's a nectar-producing flower. The leaves used to be consumed by the leaves used to be consumed as spinach huh i did not know that What's this? is this the buttercup this one looks like a buttercup yeah buttercup there we go the buttercup causes blisters on my skin i didn't know that because i played i it, it grows in damp soils a poisonous plant i used to play with these all of the time as a kid i never knew that it was poisonous I did not know that. Almond daisy, so white and pink flowers. It blooms when it blooms when it's freezing. Really? Close up a plant. Spring salad with flowers. Interesting. It grows on meadows, lawns, field boundaries, and pastures. What a cute game, guys. This is a really cute game, guys. This is called Little Mouse's Encyclopedia, guys. This is just the first part of it. This is the underground. I think we have, we got a bunch of different, um, there's four different sections to this, so check it out. It's not very expensive. It's like six bucks. It's an indie game made with Unity, so we all know it's gonna be good. Check it out. I highly recommend this, especially if you have kids. They'll be able to learn things from this. It'll be a really good rainy day activity if they're not able to go outside and whatnot. Um, so check it out, guys. Like I said, it's on Steam. It's only about six bucks. I don't want to go too in depth with this, so you guys can check it out yourself. So 
make sure that you uh, go check it out, guys. And if you had fun with the duck pond today, subscribe to the duck channel and don't forget to like the video. Thanks for hanging out, guys.